Hello, welcome back to eMotors Direct Channel. I'm Keith, your host today, as we explore variable frequency drives. We'll be discovering what they are and how they work. This video is for industrial maintenance technicians, electrical contractors, or anyone looking to add a VFD into their electric motor setup. If you haven't already, shut off your power supply before handling your VFD. All right, we'll be taking a deep dive into the circuitry of variable frequency drives shortly, but first, let's take a quick look at the history of VFDs and why we use them. In the late 1800s, Nikola Tesla invented the AC induction motor, and the way the industry works was forever changed. Tasks that required intense labor no longer required manpower, helping to reduce labor costs, production time, and even injuries related to fatigue and overuse. While the AC motor was a fantastic invention with benefits for many industries, we came across one major issue. The motors could only run at a single speed. Over the years, many innovations were introduced to solve the problem, but none quite hit the mark until the introduction of the variable frequency drive in the 1980s. Since then, it has been widely adopted due to its effectiveness and efficiency. So, what does a VFD do? VFDs manipulate the voltage and frequency of the power source to control the speed, direction, and torque of your AC electric motors, helping to match the output of the motor to the work it needs to perform. VFDs can also be called a variable speed drive, AC drive, inverter, adjustable speed drive, or simply just drive. Their applications span far and wide, including HVAC systems, pumps, compressors, conveyors, and more. Pairing a VFD with your electric motor system has more benefits than just speed and torque control as well. Using VFDs gives you more control over performance and efficiency. The ability to dial things back means that you can make the power output match the load's requirements exactly without being overkill. VFDs can provide smooth acceleration at startup, helping to avoid the large inrush currents drawn by the motor when started under full power. And finally, VFDs provide electrical protection in the form of thermal overload protection, voltage protection, and phase protection, all of which protect the motor windings and any attached electronics. So, how do they do it? With AC power, the voltage is not constant. It goes in waves from positive to negative voltage and back again. That power looks like this. This pattern is called a sine wave. Frequency is how many times this wave repeats in a second. The speed of the AC motor is determined by the frequency of the power source, which is typically 60 Hertz. To change the speed of the motor, we need to either increase or decrease the number of sine waves per second. To do this, VFDs have a three-step internal process that converts the voltage two times. Step one, the converter or rectifier. The rectifier stage consists of multiple diodes connected in parallel. These diodes are like a unidirectional bridge, allowing AC power into the circuit without flowing back out to the source power. The diodes open and close in sequence to create a rough DC power output. Step two, the DC bus. The DC bus consists of a series of capacitors and resistors connected in parallel. At this stage, the rough DC power is smoothed out and cleaned up. The capacitors also store or release electrical charge based on the needs of the circuit. Step three, the inverter. The inverter stage is the final and the most complicated stage. It consists of six insulated gate bipolar transistors or IGBTs. IGBTs are a type of switch that open and close in pairs to control the flow of power. They can do this several thousand times per second. The opening and closing of the IGBTs creates pulses of power called pulse width modulation in the positive or negative at different intervals that simulate AC power. When you control the speed in the intervals of the IGBTs, you control the frequency of the output. When the pulses are closer together, the frequency of the sine wave is higher and the motor spins faster. When the pulses are further apart, the frequency of the sine wave is lower and the motor spins slower. VFDs give you a greater control over the speed and torque of your AC electric motor, allowing you to increase the efficiency and performance of your operation. As always, if you have anything to add, if you have any questions, or you have a suggestion for another topic for us to cover, leave me a comment below. Make sure you like this video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Keith with eMotors Direct, your source for industrial motors, gear reducers, controllers, parts, and accessories across Canada. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.